Adams is joining forces with Governor Hochul to ask for help from the federal government regarding the rising number of asylum seekers in New York. CBS News' Zania Maldonado is live in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, where the mayor and governor spoke this morning. Zania. Well, Mary, both Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Eric Adams making a plea to the White House seeking more action when it comes to getting these expedited work permits for asylum seekers. They also called out the federal government, citing a lack of urgency to get these people to work as the state deals with a historic labor shortage. When I speak with my asylum seekers at the Herks, at the hotels, on the streets, they state clearly, we don't want your free room and board and food and clothing. We want to work. Mayor Eric Adams alongside Governor Kathy Hochul stating expedited work permits are needed for the thousands of asylum seekers arriving to New York City on a weekly basis. The pair putting pressure on the White House to make it happen. If we don't get it done through a presidential action, we are going to slow down the progress we need. Adams calling the continued arrival of asylum seekers a challenge of epic proportions, stating 5,800 people arrived to the city just last week. The week before that, 4,200. And with thousands of unfilled jobs across the state, Hochul says work permits are necessary to get asylum seekers out of temporary shelters and into their own homes. At the same time, we have a historic labor shortage. We also have this unprecedented influx of individuals arriving in New York. All them legally seeking asylum. They're eager to work. They want to work. They came here in search of work and a new future, and they can become part of our economy. The mayor's office says there are now more than 150 emergency sites, including nine large scale humanitarian relief centers serving nearly 70,000 asylum seekers in the city. For those with approved asylum status, it could take anywhere from a couple of months to years before granted a work permit. More than anything, we need changes to the work authorization policies that will let these individuals not have to wait months and possibly years for that legal status, but let's get it in an expedited basis. And Mayor Adams even pointing out right here in Industry City, there are hundreds of unfilled jobs that these asylum seekers could be taking advantage of if the federal government decides to step in. We're live from Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you. And today with CBS for the very latest developments in the asylum seekers crisis. Get updates around the clock on our website, cbsnewyork.com, and streaming on CBS.